Oh, I'm super excited for this one. To Camp Geeks and this time I'm looking at my three stove systems that I have here. So I have the MSR Windburner, the Primus Light Plus, and the brand new Jetboil Flash. And uh, we've already kind of done a video of to show the speed. There's no doubt that the Flash is the king of speed. Uh, this is more about efficiency. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can take into, into account when you're actually choosing a good stove system for backpack outing, bike packing outing, whichever you're going to take it out, just camping, whichever. Um, I'm not going to judge that one, but uh, one of those should be efficiency. Now, just like before, I'm going to set them up independently. Uh, they all have the, we're all going to put the same amount of water in at the same temperature, and then we're going to wait until we get a good rapid boil where we're getting some good steam off of it. We'll stop and turn off the stove, and then, uh, but we're going to weigh the, the actual canister before and after so we can actually get an amount of fuel that is actually being used. Uh, now that weight will be in grams essentially. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to first get them filled up with water and then we're going to weigh in all three of the uh, canisters, the, the fuel canisters, put them back on the stove, do the test, and then re-weigh them. And so I'm going to speed through a lot of this process, but uh, let's do the weight, the fill of the water, then we'll do the weigh-ins real quick. Okay, so <clears throat> I went through all three of them filled them exactly with 467 grams of water which my measuring cup said that's about two cups but if nothing else it's basically right at the max safe line of these guys in their cap capability of boiling without going over so i think what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna leave the stove attached we're just gonna get a weight of each so i have 386.2 <laughs> kind of teetering on that i'll give it the benefit of the doubt 386.1 it's right on that on that boarding borderline with the primus we're going to be sitting at 532.9 uh, yeah we'll do the same thing 532.9 we'll, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt and then lastly jet boil 315.2 now of course there are different weights for each of these but that's what we're going to go by by our baseline for all three of the different stoves that's what we're going to start with Okay, so I got them all weighed in, got them all filled with water, exact same amount of water. Uh, this is the simplest and most accurate way I can do this. If I'm doing this wrong, let me know. But let's say uh, uh, we're going to go right down the road, MSR to Primus to Jetboil, and uh, we'll do one at a time, and we'll check to see how it goes. Um, and I'm going to do it as best I can. Obviously, each system has a different way to start. The only one that doesn't have its own stealth igniter is the MSR. But we're going to bring the video in and I'm going to have my smartphone with the actual time meter right running right next to it just like we did last time. And uh, let's get going. As before, we're going to do a time just for an additional item of information because this is more water than last time I did my test. But that's... Get it on there. So now we, I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. Now it's just about keeping an eye on this thing and I'll fast forward. It's getting really close so I'm getting ready to pounce on it. She's definitely boiling. Just, there it goes. That is a rapid boil right there. So. We'll let that cool down off to the side. I'm going to mark the times down, get the next one set. One of the nice things about the Primus on the Jetboil is the self-igniter that's built into it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this going. We are open and going full bore. Oh, geez. I must have tapped it. My bad. I'm a little off on that one.
And I think we're there. Yep, she goes. She went crazy there. All right. All right, so a little more. Three minutes, four seconds. Put that guy up to the side. Do the next. And the last one. Last one here. Thank Hopefully I won't mess this one up like I did the last one a little bit. Four more. And she's the loudest of the bunch. Almost. And she's there. So, again, definitely the fastest. Okay, so I did the weigh-ins, I did the tests, I did the weigh-outs, I did the time, and I actually had to add like six and a half seconds to this, and that's how much time I actually had before I realized it, the timer wasn't going. I went back and actually timed it. It's about six and a half seconds. So, uh, no doubt that the jet boil is super supreme in terms of its speed and capability. Uh, the MSR came in right in the middle of the pack, and the Primus definitely came in dead last in terms of speed. But speed isn't everything. Speed is just one of those items. So if it's very important to you, that's something to that obviously take into consideration. There's going to be one test that I think this one will whoop the other two, and we haven't gotten to that test. That's going to be uh, boiling water in the wind. And that's what this is made for. So we're not in its element yet. We're in a very with a no wind situation inside of a house at you know a standard 70 degree temperature so 66 whatever it is that's it so the jet boil didn't disappoint but we're this video is more about energy efficiency what's the fuel consumption of this thing if i'm boiling the exact same amount of water in this case about two cups which one had the least amount of fuel usage uh, jet boil which blew my mind I thought, in all reality, that this was going to be the least efficient of the three, and I am dead wrong. Now, of course, I knew it was the fastest, so getting it done fast, but usually when you're trying to get something done fast, you're throwing as much heat in it as possible, and the heat exchange unit just isn't capturing all of it, but you're throwing so much out of it that it's it's burning, it's burning boiling, bringing it up fast, right? Not the case. Uh, 5.1 grams, as you saw there, uh, if you did the math yourself. 5.1 grams of fuel to get this to boil. Uh, second place, the Primus. Totally didn't see that coming. Didn't see it at all. Uh, about 5.8 grams of fuel usage. Um, uh, right in the middle between the two, to be honest. Uh, so, uh, slow and steady doesn't win the race, per se, but it's not the least efficient. And the least efficient was the one that I thought, and I really did think that it was going to come out almost on top, the MSR wind burner. Now I know that in outside where it's always windy, it always has usually some kind of wind going on, there's going to be some up shots to this. But in a like atmosphere of nothing just inside 6.1, a full gram more than what the jet boil used and it didn't do it as fast. So uh, obviously we're, we're losing something maybe in terms of long term use because it takes a little bit maybe to get this piece up to temperature before it actually starts putting everything into the actual container itself. There's a lot of things that could be going on there. Uh, but I think a lot of it has to do with the exchanger here because it's built to be windproof. We lose some efficiency in doing that. So I'm not a big engineer. I'm not going to go into the technical stuff on that, but that would be my guess. So. The winner winner chicken dinner goes to the jet boil flash that thing's fast and very efficient uh, uh, apparently so pretty awesome i hope you enjoyed this video because blew my mind i knew this was fast and i knew it was going to be fast even from before i did the last test i knew how fast it was but uh it's pretty awesome to see it in in use i like all three of these so systems i really do uh i there are certain things that each one do better uh but we're going to be, keep doing this testing series. And today, efficiency test goes to the jet boil, or I'm sorry, to the, yeah, the jet boil flash. Awesome stove. It really is an awesome stove. So, with that said, guys, thanks for checking us out. Thanks for watching the video. Please hit that subscribe, the like, share the video if you can for me. Try to get this subscriber count up to over a thousand so we can actually start getting more stuff in here. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking to. Thanks for sticking with us. And we'll catch you on a future video.